Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a you versus them love reading for my dearest Capricorns. Capricorn, if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And just a friendly reminder, I am available for private reading. So if you're after one, I do have those links down below in the description box. So let's get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my lovely Capricorns for their highest and greatest good. Okay, so your person is showing up as the Five of Pentacles. Your energy, the Five of Cups. Okay, double fives, pay attention to that number sequence. And what's going on between you, we have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So it looks like you're both feeling a bit sad or disappointed, and you may be mirroring each other in some ways. It could be that there's been a fight or an argument, or it could just be two people who have experienced some heartbreak in love recently. We have the Page of Swords, so it does seem like this person's checking you out, Capricorn, most likely planning on sending you some sort of message. All right, so your person is showing up as the lover's card, so possibly Gemini energy. This is someone who's feeling alone, left out in the cold, disappointed in love, again, either with your connection or maybe I'm picking up on what's what they've been through, but they have a very strong physical attraction towards you. They may even believe your soulmates or twin flames here. And the five of swords, wow, pay attention to triple fives. Beautiful number sequence coming through for you. It does indicate conflict or change or fluctuation here in your love life, Capricorn. Now, it can be that you two have been fighting, bickering or arguing. You know, the Five of Swords can be fighting for something, but it can also be that they want to fight for this connection. Um, your focus may be elsewhere, Capricorn, with the Five of Cups. It looks like you've been disappointed or you've been hurt. All right, and we have Libra and Energy. Wow, Justice card and the Eight of Wands. I'm picking up on a Twin Flame connection, but regardless of whatever you want to give, whatever label you want to give this connection, Capricorn, it looks like you are really focused on healing and finding balance here, either on your own after some sort of heartbreak or within this connection. And if you two are mirroring each other, the Four of Pentacles, if, and you've both been kind of holding back and kind of in your own corners, licking your own wounds here, the Four of Pentacles in reverse says, okay, there's potential, there's potential for um, this person to, you know, for both of you to like no longer hold back and to work things out. But for some of you, um, for some of you, this is a new person, right? And they've just been checking you out, waiting to see if you're single, if you're available, and they are ready to fight for this, no matter who they are. So the Nine of Swords is telling me the worst is over, but somebody here, if not both of you, are a little bit hesitant to commit. Now, again, that certainly could be due to past baggage or because of what you've experienced within this relationship. But I see all over this reading, Capricorn, that that you two can certainly like this is like this is definitely a connection that's going to bring you balance or can be brought into balance here. So let's see what else we need to know about your person. What's going on in your person's energy? All right, keys on a ring. Okay, so maybe some of you this was like a one night stand or a fleeting romance, okay? Um, for others of you, your person might be worried you have other options or maybe they have some choices to make here in love between you and somebody else, or they're just not really sure of the future of this connection. Um, but things are coming to light for this person. They're getting a lot of clarity about, I think, moving forward and, and coming together with you, Capricorn. So it feels good. Um, <clears throat> in your energy, we have Cupid's arrow. Spirit saying, have faith, Capricorn. Love is coming. Okay, it may take you by surprise or come at an unexpected time. And there's unconditional love here. Beautiful. So I, I do feel like there's potential for you to love this person if you don't already. But you do need to spend this time in the energy of self-love and just, you know, just loving on yourself, taking care of yourself, because I do think they're coming in to give you exactly what you need, Capricorn. And again, some of you, this is going to be like a reconciliation type vibe. Um, for others of you, it's going to be, you know, it's somebody new coming in here. All right. So let's see. Let's see what else Spirit would like you to know about this connection. Sorry, I pulled the wrong pulled the wrong deck here. 
Uh, let's see what, what else Spirit wants you to know about this connection at this time. Actually, it was the right deck. Sorry, I got a little bit confused there, my lovely Capricorns. Let me know down below in the comment section if you know who I'm talking about here. Is this a past person or is this an energy that you feel might be coming towards you? Yeah, there's definitely a secret admirer here. Wow. All right. So someone is secretly yearning for you. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. So there is some healing that needs to take place or that can take place here. All right. And we have a lot of you, you're going to be getting an apology. Okay. I do feel like you're protected. I also feel like this connection is protected, Capricorn. All right. Let's see. What would this person like you to know? What does this person want to tell you? What does this person want to tell my lovely Capricorns, please? All right, I don't know why this happened. So they might be feeling a little bit confused about you, about this connection, especially for those of you where there's been some sort of fight or argument. And I left you before you could leave me. So for some of you, definitely some past baggage was running the show here with this person. And it sort of caused them to sort of act out or push you away in some form. But again, some of you, this is going to be a new person and I'm just picking up on their insecurities. Let's see what advice and guidance comes through for my lovely Capricorns. Clear messages, advice and guidance for my Capricorns, please, regarding this person or this connection. A hole in the soul. Okay, so for a lot of my Capricorns, there is something here that's missing. And, you know, some of you too, you might be healing, you know, we're, we see you in the five of swords energy. So be aware of any type of self-sabotage or any repeated patterns that really need to be, you know, healed, cleared, nipped in the bud when it comes to love and relationships. But for others of you, I just feel like if you're in separation from this person or there's been a fight or an argument, maybe it was the first one in this relationship. Um, but it certainly can also be that whatever's happened here has just been extremely painful um, yeah, it feels like this hurts, right? And we get have faith. So you get double confirmation of have faith here, Capricorn. Love is coming or this person is coming around. So whether they're new or they're somebody that you're dealing with, um, Spirit's telling you to have faith. This can, you know, this can really get back on track or just be moving in the direction that you want it to. So it feels really good for, it feels like a great message here for my Capricorns. Let's see, what is this person's next actions towards you within the week? We get the two of cups in reverse. Okay, so this person's going to be making a decision here. Most likely making a decision to come towards you to reach out. All right, and can you tell me what's the, the potential outcome here, please? All right, we have the lovers in reverse. Okay, so there's going to be a really big decision that needs to be made. Um, I do feel like, you know, it's going to require you to do things differently. Again, maybe if you're getting on the same page, you're going to have to be talking about, okay, how can we change, you know, how can we shift things so we don't experience this type of turmoil again? Um, but for others of you, um, you know, I do feel like, you know, you're, you, it could be that your person is making a choice between you and somebody else if they have other options there with the keys on a ring. I'm not really reading this lover's card as a bad thing. I just kind of feel like, um, in the next week or so, it might be a little bit confusing here, Capricorn, but Spirit's saying to give it time. You know, you're going to get the clarity that you need, and there's going to be a big decision here for you within this connection. And for a lot of you, like I said, it's going to be about eliminating other obstacles or eliminating, um, you know, other options so that you two can really come together. All right, so I'm going to leave it here, my lovely Capricorns. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading. See you in the next one. Take care.